Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Poplet. Poplet is used to create graphic organizers. This is a great app. Download it to your mobile device. So we're going to start off. It says double click. Make a Poplet. It's going to pull up a little box here. You can enlarge that box by dragging the little arrows back and forth. So let's take a look at this first little icon down at the bottom. We can actually click on that if we decide we want to change the color of the box. So you can kind of give this some color differentiation. So let's start off, let's make it, we'll make it green. And so we want to give it a, a main topic here or, or title. And so today we're talking about Poplet. And so we have the kids or students, whoever you want to say is implementing this. So they type it, we can actually write it. So let's pick a different color. We can actually write it, Poplet. They can be kind of creative with it. And again, you can change the size of the box here, depending on how you want to do that. Oh, I'll make another smiley face there. Oh, what happened to that guy? Alrighty, so let's continue here. Let's add another box here. Let's go this way. Let's change the color of this guy. Let's change it to black here. And so let's look at a couple of the other icons that we have down at the bottom. Actually, let's look at this one right here. Upload things. Let's upload a picture. So we're working on Poplet, and I'm just going to find a random picture. I know that obviously if I were talking about a different topic, then that's what I would kind of go with. So in this case, look right here, here's a picture of maybe some work that I'm working on. And again, we can change the size of that, come over here and we can kind of organize our, our little boxes. And you can actually go off to the other side here. So maybe you're going to do a compare and contrast. But in this case, we're just branching off and let's change the color of this box. Let's use blue. Now, one feature that I do like about this is that you can actually upload a YouTube video. And I actually have my own little mathematics video that I like to implement in the classroom. It's called Texas, if I knew how to type, secondary mathematics. And so yeah, I can go through here and I can pull up relevant YouTube videos depending on our topic. And of course, we're talking about Poplet. I just had to put a little plug in for my channel there. So let's see if we can find anything on Poplet. And what do you know right here? How to use Poplet. So we're gonna add that, maybe. Double click it. Go over to the computer and do that. And let's see if it added it. And it did, right there. Awesome. So now I have text from our original box here. I've written it. I have some actual work that I'm maybe going to do, and then I have an actual video that is going to support the particular topic we're talking about. Now, we, after, what do we do with all this after we're done? The cool thing about it is, and it's because here I don't have the full version, but you can actually, and let's see if it'll do it here, I can actually export this to the camera roll. So check it out, I can export it as a PDF. I can export it as a JPEG, which is just a picture, or a high resolution PNG, which is also a picture. We're just going to do a export to a JPEG. And so we'll save that to the desktop. We're going to call this My Poplet. So what does this look like after you've created it, after you've exported it? Let's pull this up here. I got a ton of stuff here. So let's see here. Let's see if we can find that. And if you look right here, you can see that this is the actual picture of the product that we just produced. And you go, okay, great. What do we do after we produce this product? There are some other videos I'm going to show you guys on how to collect this. I call them collaboration boards. And so you can have a collaboration board where now I can take this and I can upload this information and we can look at other works from other people as well. Hopefully this helped with Poplet.